Decor. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. What a cutie. cutie. This is a love muffin for sure right here. Now, here's the thing. I would love to wake up on a Christmas morning to, you know, a cute, adorable, cuddly little pet like this. But let's just say I have allergies or let's say I live in an apartment and this dog is not an apartment dog. Jason the dog guy, here with some uh, tips about gifting pets. Whether to gift or not to gift, that is the question, right? That's right. You know, I went up to the North Pole last week, visited Santa. Yes. We, were, we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. And what he does is he finds out what kind of person, right. what kind of lifestyle they have, exactly. what the living situation is going to be yeah. like, yeah. apartment, home, and picks the right dog for them. Cute. Because if you look at <laughs> Zoe, she's adorable, totally cut. And look at the uh, the little uh, stuffed animal that we have next to Zoe. Zoe is not a stuffed animal. Zoe has to eat, she has to walk, and she has to have some attention, right? That's right. They need to be fulfilled. Okay. So now, if you were to gift a pet, where, where would Santa go to get a, a pet to gift? He goes to his lo the local Park shelters. Park. Yeah, he goes yeah. to uh, rescue organizations. Aww. Oh, there you go. And, you know, there's also breeders. There's very reputable breeders out right. there also. Okay, and then also, you know, when you're gifting a dog, can you just give the dog as a gift or should you, like, do some care package type stuff? Like, uh, I, I would do a little care package yeah. to come along with it. Yeah. Things like a crate, an exercise yeah, pen, yeah. a dog bed, good quality toys. Of course. Now, speaking of toys, because I know we give our dogs, Jordan and, and Beamer, we give them Christmas presents. And so I'm looking at the table. I've never seen some of these things, and apparently Zoe really likes this one here. Zoe, you like that one? Oh, this one's what amazing. Is this? this is like a, uh, it's, it, doesn't it sound like a water a bottle? Water bottle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah, look at her face. She's like, she loves that? this. And and what you don't want to do is be giving them water bottles right. and have them break. Because they the, like that crackle. They set. like the crackle. Right. But we don't want them to swallow the cap. And we never want them to cut, get cut on the yeah, sharp edges. Right. Yeah. So something like this is great. Awesome. Good yeah. stuff. And then, of course, you know, you want to make sure that you give the pet, like, uh, some activities to do, some fun stuff. Because if, like, while you're at work, whatever, the kids are at school, the dog's going to be at home by him or his or herself, and they need to be occupied so that they don't destroy your house. Exactly. <laughs> so they have these cool little, there's so many gifts like this out there. You put treats in there. Yeah. You can tighten it up. You put it on the ground. Okay. And you let them play with it. There you go. I think she likes the crackle a little bit more than that right I now. I think so, too. So, okay, so bottom line, to gift or not to gift a pet during the holiday season? Is it a good idea, bad idea? You have to do a lot of research. What yeah. we don't want is to re-gift. That's right? right. We do. These are the gifts that you don't. Re I know, Laura. You, I know you. Regifting is okay. <laughs> I haven't regifted a dog. Just not this kind of gift. <laughs> <laughs> Just not Never. this kind of gift. Exactly. All right. Well, if you want some more information about uh, Jason the dog guy, he's at the Folsom Dog Resort. Uh, we'll give you some info on that. And again, do the research. Don't just cuddle up the doggy and hand it off. It's not that easy. Not That's quite right. that easy, right? That's right. Hi, Joey. Huh? So like, don't cute. Bother me. Good don't reminder. Good reminder. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> <laughs>